Innovation to me is iterative. Most people think of it or we assume that it's like one big leap at a time. I'm used to iteration. Even my relationship with Air Company was iterative. Innovation to me is constantly exploring and innovation is just curiosity. I'm Benjamin Edgar. It's really actually quite difficult to describe what I do sometimes. Design is the focus of it. Industrial design is what people know me for in the object company. I travel a lot. I don't have a studio. I use the factories that I that manufacture my things as my studio. I prefer to design in that environment. I prefer to design in these kind of interstitial spaces. And I started bringing a cup from home with me um, as this tiny little thing to have in your room that's like in this size that works for coffee or maybe it's a drink or it's just even some water in the morning. And it's a little bit of home with you, I think. So I don't do a lot of client work. Really, like, not a lot at all. I think I maybe had like three or four clients. I don't think I'm very good at it, and Greg gave me just an immense amount of freedom. There was also a friendship that started to form and a way of talking and a way of thinking that was really fun. But, I mean, I have to be honest, the scientific element of Air Company is probably like the coolest thing ever. If you're really lucky, when you create something, it prompts curiosity in someone else. In terms of like the Air Company fragrance, it's not yelling at you saying like, learn about this, element of our company learn about this process of our company but the hope is that it's just like off kilter enough it's just unfamiliar enough from a design perspective that it doesn't put you off but prompts you to say I wonder why this looks the way that it does I wonder why this company even made this and then from there like you're off to the races I do believe that design in a weird way is kind of overtaking luxury yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm very optimistic about it, and I think we can design our way out of a lot of the problems that we've designed ourselves into. 